firefighters call it an alarming trend. Lauren Maxwell is here to share us what happened. Nationally, the number of fires, Rebecca, is going down, but the number of fire fatalities isn't. And that's especially true here in Anchorage, where we've had five just since the beginning of the year. A fatal fire on North Brigal Wednesday evening is just the latest. One person died in an apartment here, bringing the total number of fire deaths in 2023 to five. It's a lot considering there were only four fire fatalities in all of 2022, three in 2021, and just two in 2020. It's trending in the wrong direction. To have this many fatalities this early in the year is, it, it, our community can do better. We can do way better than this. Anchorage Fire Marshal Brian Dean says those fires had different causes, but the majority also had something in common. The biggest factor that we have in this is not working smoke alarms. If you don't have a working smoke alarm, your chances are just they go dramatically down. Getting out quickly is especially important. It only takes minutes for items in our modern homes to combust and release toxic smoke and deadly gases. They just can't survive. If you inhale those, you become unconscious. And that's typically what we find of people when they die in a fire. It's from smoke inhalation. Dean says people need to test their smoke alarms regularly. He recommends once a month. Reach out to your families and say, hey, how, how are your guys' smoke alarms doing? You know, your kids, your grandkids. Um, check, check their homes and make sure that they're, uh, that they're operable. He says it's one of the most important things any of us can do to save lives in case of a fire. Now, Dean says people should have a smoke alarm on every floor and in areas where bedrooms are located, there should be a smoke alarm in the hallway and also in every bedroom.